Good evening. November the 1st, I'm going to be in Millville, New Jersey. I say the same crap every week. November the 2nd, Richmond, VA. November the 15th, Northampton, Massachusetts. And then I zip on down to Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania on the 16th. December the 6th, Chicago, Illinois. December the 20th, Tarrytown, New York. Also, I almost forgot, I'm in December the 19th. I'm going to be in Woodstock, New York, two shows at the Bearsville Theater, and then the 20th, I go down to Tarrytown, and then the 21st, I zip on down to Harrisburg, PA, to really round out an uneventful city tour. Now, um, uh, March 21st and 22nd, I'm going to be in Tampa, and then April 4 and 5, Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Be there. Here Grew up make- online, so like ASL. Yeah. ASL. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Age, sex, location. <laughs> I'd have to. T- I'd have to lie about two of those things. But that's like old. <laughs> There's actually a wall behind this, and and it's it's those slats, and it would make me dizzy looking at it. It would make people nauseous looking at it. Really? Yeah. So they actually bought these curtains. I love these blue <laughs> curtains, but it, I would look at it. It just made me nauseous. No, it's a great story to start with. This is this is what people <laughs> like to hear. People like to hear. Oh, we started. <laughs> yeah. The, oh, this oh, is okay. the start. I said, I how this was just a little banter. Oh no, the ins and outs <laughs> of how this looks, the way it looks. Yeah, well, I'm no, glad you feel well <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. No, she's right. That was a terrible. It's a pleasure, Ricky. Ricky Velas. Yes. I, we don't introduce the guest. Welcome to Sword Fight. A uh, guy I love a lot, <laughs> Ricky Velez. Sword That's Fight, cool. yeah. <laughs> oh, you didn't You're know a maniac, man. I love it. Thank you. Uh, Me too. Great. Maniac. Yes. Yeah. Man. <laughs> There we go. Thank you. Oh, oh those are in one circle. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but we had a few, we were, we were kind of playing with names. We didn't know what to do. Sword Fight was the one. Uh, my wife's nuts, we thought was good too. Somebody suggested that, <laughs> but it was almost too on the nose, so, so to speak. Uh, so we I just- love to make um, trans jokes because sometimes okay. people get really uncomfortable if it's like very manly. If I say that, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then they don't know whether to laugh or to just like, oh. Oh, all right. Yeah, sometimes she's talking about things. She doesn't care about any of it. And, and sometimes she's talking about something and somebody will think like, oh, I shouldn't. You know, it's well, very nice. I think nice. it has to do with your levels, the way you speak. Oh, yeah? Like the way that my I take tongue? It, I would take you more seriously. Yes. The way you speak, I take you more seriously. Really? So when those jokes li- probably come, people are probably th- wow. thrown a little bit. Because really? she's literal and she's very like direct. And I think people misinterpret that as her being That's, serious. It's a great compliment, Ricky, because I always wanted to be a politician. Really? It's, oh, Yes. You can Still? tell by my voice that it has like authority, right? Kind of in a there's way. There's something there. Thank but th- you. That's a no. He doesn't think it's authoritative. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's very nice to have there's someone. Sound. I think you beat up Jim. But <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's why she's show, here. Show them your bruise on your arm there. He does jujitsu. No, I know, but I only take off my shirt and show another yeah, guy why my not? bruise. <laughs> no guy wants to see my bruise. Who, who's who got bruises? Jim and all my friends with AIDS. Nobody wants to see you the know, fucking Ricky, bruise. You know, Ricky, I'm very honored and pleasure to have someone who's closer to my age on this podcast because everyone else has been older. I'm getting old now, though. How old are you? I'm 35 now. Okay, man. yeah, 35. That's you're still young. I thought you were younger. You're very yeah, young. I have a six-year-old kid. Really? Yeah, my wow, son's six, six now. already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love you because you're really, uh, you're like, you're very true to how you feel in the moment on stage, which I like. <laughs> like, I really like that. Like, if there's something going on, you talk about it. If you're depressed, you talk about it. If there's, you're happy, like, you're brutally honest on stage. Um, and like, if I ever want to find out how you're doing, I think if I watch a set, I'll kind of know where you're at. Yeah, you're I'm like, not good at faking it for no, anybody. No. And um, yeah, sometimes I wish I had that button. Yeah. Like, the- we've never met sad Andrew Schultz. Right. Like, where, where's that? Because where's there's no such for? thing. You know why? Because he's in fucking arenas. There's no such thing as San no, Andrew Schultz. everybody has their day, dude. Everybody. Have yeah. you dealt with a lot of, how do I say, me- melancholy? Yeah. I don't know. Mel- uh, melancholy? Yeah, sadness? Yeah. Melancholy. Um, I've had some stuff happen. Yeah. I've cried a lot in my life. Cried? No, I sit in it. Really? I, don't, I don't really, no, it's not really tear situation. It's just like, it's just going in my head and just me. Like, Do you like to isolating. feel it? Like, are you, like, it's a weird, sometimes that, like being like a uh, sad or whatever, it's like there's a comfort in it. Like I've taken a weird comfort in being like that weird, heavy, awful feeling. It's so weird. I, I know what you're talking about, but at the same time, like, it's so pathetic how fast it can be flipped. To like, what, to like, feeling good or sad? Yeah. Oh. 
Like, it just takes, like, one good check to show up. And oh, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Life's great. <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah. The, the, the one, the manager makes the call. Yeah. Hey, I spoke to so-and-so. They like you. Bah! Yeah. Fuck <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Everything's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I wish I, I, I kind of wish I always had that button of just, like, being able to turn it on when I'm out. But, no, yeah, I, I'm, I'm very about what I'm talking about and yeah. how I feel. Yeah. I know I noticed that at the uh, Patrice benefit cuz that was a big crowd and you were talking about some really hard stuff to make funny and <laughs> but it was funny. We were talking about being depressed and suicidal and like all these things that are so hard to be funny with, but the crowd loved it because it was honest and the jokes were good. Like it was it just felt very legitimate and very real. And there are some guys that try to put that on and they're like, they're trying to be the, and it, it doesn't come off as genuine, but with you, it comes off as very, very genuine. But Thank I just, you. I, I appreciate it. that. Yeah. I, I try to stay in that moment. I wonder if like having to smoke like as much pot as I do helps me stay in those moments, I guess. You like, smoke to, every like, day? I all nonstop. Uh, like, wow. Yeah. You know, nothing is more masculating to me than men who talk about their emotions and feelings honestly and bluntly. I think that's very masculine. When I see an emotional man... You said emasculating. That means not masculine. Yeah, oh, I, mean, I, I thought we were going the other yeah. way with oh, this. No, so, I and mean, the way I, she was saying it, I was oh, just going to take it. Uh, okay, <laughs> no, fine. No, I mean, I mean <laughs> as masculine... You think it's masculine. Yes, I think it's very masculine when men talk about their emotions and they come off as emotional. And you come off as very emotional. And No, but I feel it. I think you've been in pits and I think you've gone through extreme darkness. I just think like... I grew up and the way I watched it was always in anger and I didn't want to be that angry. Yeah. Who was angry? You, was your dad or your yeah, family? My yeah, my dad was an angry guy. Well, they guy. throw things in the wall. Other type of weird, like, anger. Not throwing shit. No, mm. we weren't that house. My dad wouldn't want to repaint. Right. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'd love to throw this through the TV, but I don't feel like fucking sweeping it up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it, like, it, dude, you couldn't put your hands on the TV. That was, no. Would they get mad at you if you were untidy? Um, yeah. My dad was like, uh, with like his sock drawers, like his socks were lined up. Like oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like one of those, like. Probably like misplaced OCD or some shit. Just like yeah. my father, too. But you know, it's not with OCD, is he? My dad. Is he a little OCD? Oh, yeah. The remote on the living room table always has to be perfectly straight. Yeah. I don't know if it was... The, the, the stuff on his, like, bedside table was like that. I, so mm -hmm. maybe, yeah, I guess a point. Too. One Did time I beat my father in the fighting game Tekken, and he <laughs> took... I was, like, 12, and he took the PlayStation remote and just slammed it in the wall. Thousand pieces. I cried. Tekken and then the I trans game. then I transitioned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, the game is broken. I need tits. <laughs> Should have let me win, Dad. <laughs> Should have let me win. Yeah, I'd be playing fucking soccer right now. Um, yeah, but it's funny. My dad, like, I look at like, uh, I my dad was very loving. He's still alive. I mean, he's great. But uh, like, I got like hit when I was a kid. Like, I got. Soap in the mouth, and I say that. Soap in the mouth. Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got hit in soap in the mouth That's for sure. Abuse. Soap in the mouth was always done by mom, though. Oh no, for me. Mom it was, was that. like, "You're not allowed to curse like that. Get in here." And then soap <laughs> in the mouth. Now, was she? Now, there's two types of soap. There's the the the, the gentle one, or there's the one my father took, which was to hold your fucking face and take the, the bar of soap and scrape it on your teeth <laughs> until <laughs> until you had it. Like you'd run your tongue against the back of your teeth, and you could feel the soap. Uh no, uh, I honestly that's pretty bad. Yeah. But I think Dawn is worse. I think so too. Just holding Dawn in oh your mouth at yeah. the time, like yeah. you have to do it for like a full minute. Well, what I do on a daily basis, a lot of people would feel is worse. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it all depends on what side of the street you're on. But a lot of people would very unhappy with that. And are you married to your girl? Are you guys dating? Yeah, me and my wife have been you together. Wife, okay. uh, I've been with my wife since I was 23 years old. Wow. Yeah. 12 years. So this yeah. is like your whole adult life. Yeah. And we have a six-year-old and, and yeah. And no, you love it, right? I really like being a dad. Being a dad's fun. I've been trying to figure out this bit because it's like a real emotion where it's like, you know, I raised my kid to six now. Now he goes to kindergarten because he has a late birthday. So we held him yeah. here and whatnot. And now this teacher just gets to be his best friend. Is there a jealousy though? I, I never thought of that because I'm not a parent. But like, like all of a sudden now somebody else is not only... 
uh, their best friend, but is teaching them the things about life. And they're going to ask their teacher questions about life. When you're not around, they'll just ask the teacher shit. And it went from being like, I was able to, you know, I had to jump out to LA for a month at one point. I was able to rip him with me. Now, if uh-huh. I I can't rip him out of school for right. a month anymore. So it's like, I've lost <laughs> yeah. to, uh, to these teachers. And I'm like trying to figure out the right like emotion that it is. I don't know what it is yet, but it's funny. Like it's it's funny to me that I'm like mad at his teachers right now. So and it's funny. Like I see all these parents who get mad at teachers. Like they're indoctrinating, and I'm like, yeah. But but then I guess when you look at it from that point of view, if I was a parent, I might be like, no, don't tell my kids certain things. Like you, you know what I mean? Like I guess <laughs> I would see it differently if I was a parent. I don't teachers know. Teachers should be more like robots. Just do the curriculum, and that's it. That's just my opinion. Teachers should be a very literal breed, and they're not in America. No, are they in Norway? Yes, more so. You didn't connect personally with your teachers? <laughs> Not at all. You do call them here in Norway. You call them for their first name. You don't say miss. You say their first name. You guys wear all those crazy funny uniforms too. You like do not like our folk costume? Yeah, you wear that to school, right? Yeah. And, and then they put them on leashes and I stare at them. <laughs> 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 they travel all together on leashes, dressed the same. It is <laughs> taking <laughs> pictures of the tourists. <laughs> it is bizarre. Are those the, uh, I, they have these weird, like I'm not big on Norwegian culture at all. Like I love her and I love her family, but I don't, I'm not a big she wants me to get what's that is that what's the dress you want me to get mm? is that the one you just said yes the dress you want me to buy yeah I think it's a shame you haven't <laughs> it would actually be great to see you in that <laughs> <laughs> you will look you will look very good in that I will no, get it tailored no it's not gonna, how much are they like four to five three yeah. to five hundred grand yeah I mean, but just, that's like yes <laughs> you gotta have a boon on if you're Norwegian okay like when we go to vote for the prime minister you wear that it's just, it's awful. It's like fucking gingerbread house people. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. I, I've spent some time there. You have? Yeah. Have you been yeah, to yeah, Norway? Yeah. I've been to Norway a few different times. Really? Yeah. Um, me and Schultz got put together to be the New York Comedy Festival throughout the European oh, nice. uh, Comedy Festival. So it was me, him, and James Adomian, and they actually sat us in Norway for like a week. Oh, wow. You have did that you indoor like water it? park and stuff. Yes. Like, yeah, we've done it. We did that? a bunch of stuff. It's a beautiful, clean country. Where's the uh, indoor water park? Oh, they damn. have many. I, I forgot the name of the town. Ta- we were put into like three different towns while we were Oh, there. you bounced yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like that the Swiss are like your Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yes. Nuts. Like the Swiss I've people. I've never think, seen a racism oh. towards white before. <laughs> yeah. Like that, like white on white racism. That was just beautiful. <laughs> and we and also, I'm like, explain it to me. I'm like, that's the most beautiful Mexican yeah. you can have is a Swede. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and we have more prettier mountains than Switzerland too. Norway is more supreme Why, in every single way. What is the hate? They come and take the jobs. The Swiss, they're just like, oh, they think they have the best nature in mountains, <laughs> the best culture, <laughs> but it's not the cows they have. Norway have prettier cows. There's actually a cow called a Norwegian red. Look up that and then look up the Swiss cows. Which cow do you prefer? I'm team Norwegian red. That is really deep-seated dislike. Yeah. When it get when you get into the weeds and it's the cows you don't like. But my favorite yeah, yeah, country. You can literally get in the weeds. She <laughs> said they have better trees. <laughs> I mean, they're sod. They have ugly sod. The hate is so dumb between the both of them. It makes me laugh. Our dogs have bigger dicks than their dogs. <laughs> Do you want to hear my three favorite countries, Ricky? Please. All it's right. Norway, Iceland, and Switzerland. We hit all three of those spots during that tour. Wow, did you love yeah. it? The whitest I, countries Iceland on earth. Iceland was crazy. What did you do? We went there once. What did you do there? Uh, we did uh, Reykjavik, and we did. Yeah. They have uh, they have this theater. I think it's I think it's like the only theater in Reykjavik. Like, and it has a few theaters within it. Okay, so they like the had Sydney the festi- Opera House, they almost. had the festival going with like four different shows going. Right. It was really, really cool. Uh, Iceland was really cool, and we only got to be there for like 36 hours. So it was oh. like a fast moving. In and out. Did you and feel the air? How crisp it is? Yeah, it was. It's it crazy, was right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we went to a hip hop club with white people. It was awesome. In Iceland, yeah, it's yeah. all white. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a sight. <laughs> we went to a hip hop club with. Um, with, with with a bunch of white guys, and it was right when Soldier Boy put out that song that w- was called "N Word." We made it. Okay. And just to watch them do that in Iceland was pretty. Because it probably doesn't have much of an implication to them there. Because I've been there. It's like was it three hundred thousand people? It's not a big country. Mm-hmm. 
We went to a spa called the Blue Lagoon. Mm -hmm. Um, it was fucking amazing to but, swim in those natural springs. But thank you for springs. saying that because when I grew up in Norway, it's very different how I perceive hip hop culture in Norway than when I come here. Like you can't even sing along to the lyrics. You know you what can. I mean? If the, yeah, <laughs> but I but it's not. but, we, but we don't get blamed for that if we do that in Norway. It's not the same thing. It's not like if you were to say it, people wouldn't get as mad as they do here. And I do find a lot of the anger here to be fake and shallow and see through and not real. It is, but it's a different implication here too. Like there, when you grow up there in Iceland or Norway, you just you you're you're not interacting with the same people, so the music doesn't have the same. I think a lot of incest happens in Iceland. Incest? Yeah. Oh, that's I a believe it. That took a left I, I, so. I wouldn't be there. <laughs> I believe so. I love it more now. I couldn't. And it's okay. Because if I were from, I feel isolated being Norwegian. I never meet another Norwegian when I venture in the world. Icelandic though, there's 300,000. Norway is 5 million. Did you guys get to like see as you were landing into Iceland? Yeah. Like how it just looks like a different planet. It doesn't look like anything I've ever seen. I know in my it's life. fabulous. It was. Yeah. Um, it, we went to Reykjavik because I'm a. I like to. I love Bobby Fischer, uh, the chess player, and he he lived in Reykjavik, and they buried him there. So we went to his grave. It was so boring. I know. It wasn't for her. <laughs> she doesn't play chess, and she had to watch an old man kneel by Bobby Fischer's grave. Did you see uh, what's her name? Uh, Yoko Ono put that light in the air in Iceland because it was no. Yeah, it well, was, uh, she. She. It was. Who, it, it was like their favorite place to visit and there's a light that shines up into the sky in oh, wow. right behind the theater actually we were oh, at yeah, yeah, yeah. that she put for John yeah okay that's nice I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like an annoying thing or something that was actually kind of like <laughs> cause you with Yoko whenever someone's like you you're Yo know with Yoko Ono oh, like this video of her <laughs> walking into some art uh, like art uh a uh, curation if that's the word we've all seen that where she's screaming oh <laughs> have you seen that no oh. she's just like scream singing. It's so. Are we able to bring that up on the screen? I don't know if we can, and I don't even know how much of we could show. But if you're watching this and you just hear fucking animal noises, we're putting them over Yoko because we don't want to get demonetized. But it really is. There's very good footage of her singing with John. They're singing with Chuck Berry. And uh, she's just doing that bellowing scream shit she does. And you can see they, they slow it down. You can see Chuck Berry, who was Lennon's idol. Just looking at her like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, she was What do you think person. Lennon liked? About her? Yeah. You know what? That's a great question. What is it? Maybe she fucked him properly. He, he never, like, that's usually what it is. Like, if you look at uh, all the, all, if you fuck somebody properly, everything else is forgivable. And I bet you that's a big part of it. Because she was okay looking, but he was John Lennon. And uh, that's my guess is that she was, she did something for him in bed that he just couldn't get away from. She's very artsy. Yeah, I she is. Hate artsy people. He might have thought it was deep too. Like, you know, he, you know, just because he was a genius songwriter doesn't mean he wasn't an idiot. And he, and it may have been like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I want to find the one where she's in the art installation because uh, because this is uh, the the music for this we can't play. Yoko Ono screaming. I think it'll come. She's up. just bellowing into this, and they slow down. And, uh, Oh, okay. Like, yeah, <laughs> she does that. I you, uh, for a second, I was like, Jim really hates this girl. Oh, no, and no. Then, like, <laughs> no, that's fucking I, bad. <laughs> it, it's terrible. And, and if, if the art installation one is available, it's just her in an art thing. And uh, I met her once at Sirius X7. I wanted to take a photo with her. I kind of liked that performance. And it, it was terrible. And uh, I had to wait for her to do her makeup. That's it right there with that fucking, she looks like she looks like Joey Pants in The Sopranos. <laughs> that stupid hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a pompous ass. Oh, she's warming up, getting ready. The great artist approaching the microphone, her instrument. This is why I hate this people. This is like what, <laughs> like when people say shit like privilege. Yeah. This is exactly that. Like, Look at them all looking. That's me when I nut in Jim's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she's kidding, of course. I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's just, we can turn it off now because I'm just beginning to... That's Jim when I breed him. Oh, you just did the I'm same joking. joke twice. Very same joke twice. <laughs> Are you from New York? I'm from Queens. Yeah, I was born wow. and raised Queens. Actually, my first apartment was a block away from here. Really? In New York City. I yeah, love this I, I, It's so funny. I always say New York City because like the part of Queens I was from, we yeah. didn't come to Manhattan. Yeah. We didn't do that. You didn't. Do you live in Manhattan no. now? Yeah. How was raising your son in Manhattan? Was it hard? My wife liked it because you're kind of on schedule and mm -hmm. things are easier. You're not throwing a kid in a car. You're not doing that. Like, right. like, 
Leaving the house with a kid it takes about a half hour. And then like, Were you like ever scared wait, for on. his safety? I've I been afraid for my wife's safety. I mean, my wife's been attacked and actually as of this week for the third time by uh homeless people in oh my this God. city. First time she Physically? got thrown in first time she got thrown into the street. Second time I don't even remember. And then this week it happened when I was walking with her. What happened? Dude, I didn't see it coming. It's so crazy. Yeah. Like it was just we were walking across 14th on Union Square, and there was a homeless person, and she just pinpointed my wife and attacked her. And it was, oh my did she gosh. punch her? Or she was... like she like palmed into her chest as hard as she could. And then like I before I know it, it happened. So you're just like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, but um, never with the kid, thank God. But yeah, and this city's pretty crazy. Did the woman it's back just to keep the 90s? Scary. It's what I remember growing up. Did wow. she just keep walking away after that? The woman? I screamed at her, and then I'm like, there's cops over on that corner. I'm like, am I about to put a homeless person in a headlock and try to get them arrested? And yeah. I was like, let's keep walking. Yeah. Your wife like, wasn't hurt. There's really nothing. You she can was do. shaking up, man. Yeah. And like, it, it was really sad. Yeah. It bums me out. Um. Yeah, and this all has started since pandemic. Wow. So it's the city is what it is. Right I'm now. always if careful I to, her. If I were to have a kid, I think I would be terrified because I don't even go out at night and is he, <laughs> I would have them in private school. I don't know. I don't know what I, I mean, would my do. Kid is. Yeah. Um do they have security there? They have the security school? and it's actually it's crazy that like, you know, you have to go to go to private school, you have to like do interviews yeah. and this and that and like that was like my number one question mm -hmm. going into every school was like what's the security situation here yeah like, and it's like to the point like they can lock down the school with a button wow. really yeah interesting yeah, some my, of these new schools that they've opened here yeah they have like incredible technology. My, doc nice? my doctor has um a child who goes to private school yeah. and he told me that they had three levels of security like one on the ground floor, one in the elevator, and then when you come up to the school. And I was like, wow, three levels of security. Imagine how much that is just for a daily pay for these three people. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. It's crazy, oh, yeah. but it's so worth it. You got to do it. It's New York. Yeah. It's, um, I'm not, it's, it's more like just being out on the street because it, the, the other day, how fast it happened annoyed me because I'm usually really good in the yeah. city. Yeah. I've, I've never really had any problems myself. I know to stay. I heard somebody once say they said uh, either get a, get involved or fuck off. Yes. Like that's the two options you have in yeah. New York, and it's like I I think that's a great way to live out here. It's in hard. To, it's hard to know what to do. Like <laughs> if it was a guy, then you know you can hit. Like it, it, there's a different thing. But also, people somebody has a knife or a razor. It's like you want your wife to get cut, or do you want to get cut? Like it, it, yeah, it's very unpredictable. With all it's much easier if they're not homeless. There's the many aspects to America that's third world country. Really? Oh yes. I was, uh, me and my, <laughs> there's uh, the craziest crime I saw. It was like right before Christmas, like two years ago. And I'm walking and I'm watching an old lady rip a purse out of another old lady's hand. And the woman's screaming. And then like this woman, I guess like got dementia and lost her mind. And she's just somebody that's been living in Chelsea for years. And now she's like attacking people. And it was like, everyone's lost their mind out here. I saw a homeless guy one time, like he was in a wheelchair and there was another homeless guy taking his stuff. And the guy is just begging, someone call the police. He's robbing me. And the guy's in a wheelchair. And the other guy's just taking his shit and like going through his stuff. And so I was so annoyed at it. I actually called the cops and waited for them. I stood a little while away, because again, you don't know if the, the guy who's walking yeah. has a weapon. There's or, a certain place in hell for those people. He, well, he was also homeless, I mean. But the uh, the cops did okay. come like 10 minutes later, um, and I saw them walk over and begin to handle it. But, you know, I, I was it really pissed me off that he was fucking with this guy in the wheelchair. But he wasn't hurting him, he was just taking his stuff. But then I'm like, well, maybe the wheelchair guy stole his shit. Like, I, I don't know the homeless. I don't know what happened between these guys. I'm not gonna get involved. I mean, our, our mayor's in jail. That is kind of crazy. As we speak. <laughs> Who's the mayor? Our mayor and ex-cop, by the Who's way. Who's mayor? Eric Adams. Why is he in jail? He was indicted. Uh, he, Why? He, uh, he stole over $10 million and he's <gasps> no. he's being charged at yeah. the moment. Did he for, really? And, and then yeah. there was something else. In, a lot, did, of, yeah. a lot oh of perks God. that he didn't declare, like free flights and probably giving out things oh, to yeah. the Oh, uh, yeah. I think the Swedes, actually. No, really? was it... One of the, the Turks, the Turkish. Turks, the Turks, the and Turks. he was flying like every flight he took, he would like pay like really cheap for, it and then fly through 
Turkey, Istanbul. So like he was probably getting the airfare. And they Isn't have, that just the same saying that you're on a business trip and you get a tax write-off? Right. But he was he wasn't paying. He has as to declare mayor, that. you have to. Like, you have to declare that shit. You know, all that stuff. As senator or whatever he was. Oh, I thought he was very much liked, Eric. He also, no, he's liked and hated. But he also, there's text <clears throat> between his assistant and the uh, someone from the airline going, all right, we'll just give you, he could buy it for 50 bucks. It was like a $10,000 ticket. And she's, and the <laughs> woman's like, everyone's watching him right now. It has to How look How long is he going in jail, you guys think? Don't know. I don't, I don't I don't know if he'll end up going. Again. Yeah, a lot of those crimes, they just pay stuff back. He'll probably have to step down. I just don't know when. Um, Man, he like he messed up from the beginning. Like, remember that pastor he was hanging out with that was like wearing he was. You never saw that he was wearing. Yeah, the, the pastor like just wearing Gucci head yes. to toe. Yes, what was this? Like, and then like, Eric Adams was sticking up for him and shit. Um, it was that, and then also. I knew he wasn't going to be a good mayor with how many of my friends knew him. Right. Yeah. Well, like, I kept seeing comics <laughs> with the mayor, and I'm like, oh, this guy's going to yeah. fuck up. Yeah. Like, you can't, like, the nightlife mayor he was going by yeah. for a while, too. Yes. Yeah, he's... That, that's not good. He went to that uh, that Vanity Fair party, uh, which I shit on, but if they invited me, I'd go. Um, I do <laughs> But I mean, AOC went to that big gala. Yeah. Like, these, these people do do that but, stuff, but... It's more of like nothing good comes from being the nightlife mayor. Whenever these guys get involved with comedians, they think that they can, like Elon has wrecked his life by being like friends with Chappelle and Rogan because as a comic, we talk about speech and all this stuff, but we don't have $200 billion in the ability to buy Twitter. Elon just says these things. But they're like things that a comic would say, and it's almost like he's not saying it the way a comic would say it, so it just kind of comes off as really abrasive. And it's like he told his advertisers to go fuck themselves. And yeah. it's like, you can say what you got to say, but use a little... You can't he, tell the head of Disney, fuck you. I, di I disagree, because I respect the fuck you attitude. I respect it with Trump. I really do. And I respect it with Elon. You, but, because if they come to a point where they can go, no, you know what, fuck you. I res how am I not going to respect that? Because to me, it's human to human interaction. Here's why: because no, the money is going to cost the it's going to cost his investors Who money. Who cares? Investors. X is does, not going does, anywhere. Is, is Who gives Musk, a shit? Is Musk there. openly out on the spectrum? He absolutely should be. I mean, he definitely fucking think, swims I, in it. I think he, yeah. I like that's what I always see he when I autistic, see him say yeah. wild he, stuff. He I'm he like, oh, up. but I think I think he said it. I think he. Public, publicly admitted to having Asperger's in 20. So did he really? Yeah. Oh. So when I see him say things and act like that and like no emotion, like a mm -hmm. comic and like what, I'm always like, ah. There you I go. Think, that yeah. explains it. But Elon Musk is cute autistic. There's something about him that doesn't strike him yeah, as. Yeah, $200 billion. Uh, dollars. You got to remember when you see him, you're cute. seeing him on his platform. So he's yeah. picking what you see of him. Yeah. If no, there I was a conference he recently spoke at and he comes out and he like jumps and it's like, oh, he's a nerd. Yeah, he's a nerd. You guys, you guys forgot. God, nerds. he's a nerd. I've been talking about this on stage. The Facebook dude, dude too. Mike, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Now he thinks he's cool. Yeah. And it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. We were going to watch them fight a couple yeah. months back. And it's like, these are, no, these are fucking nerds. They don't fight. They can't run. Watch the, the Musk jumping on stage is, it's, it's unbelievable. And I he starts nerds. the conference up there and he like tries to take a jump. He doesn't leave his feet. No. It's, <laughs> <laughs> These guys, they all, everybody wants to be somebody like, like Nichols, Jack Nichols was a huge Laker fan and he would go into the back, uh, the locker rooms after. And when he would talk to Kareem, all Kareem wanted to talk about was acting. All Nicholson wanted to talk about was basketball. <laughs> like the, everybody wants to be somebody else. Uh, and like Zuckerberg has $120 billion or whatever again? it is. What's that? Can I pee? Yeah, go pee. Um, Zuckerberg has $120 billion. Hold on. I don't know. I love that. He's just, a, he is Aspergery. Let me see him jump. Oh my God! His <laughs> gut showed, and his gut showed his pasty stomach. Oh, showed. No. Like, uh, that's Elon's soul. I don't get the hate. He's so cute. All right, we'll wait for you to come back. Coffee's just going through me. No, that's but okay. I find I find these nerdy guys really attractive, and I think aut autism is on the rise. You find them attractive because they're worth hundred billion. Like a nerd who's just outside no. with crust on his lips is no. not attractive. I would find Elon Musk cute. Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> looks like he has a weird face when he orgasms. Really? Like his eyes are still just wide open. He weirds me out. But Elon Musk, he yes. takes jujitsu. He's a blue belt. And he looks he, uh, good. He actually competed under. Uh, he won his own one competition. He took. 
But he, I like him because he does love jujitsu. I'll like, beat the fucking brakes off. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how autistic people, they're always saying they're smart. Yeah. But when they don't have any social cues, how is that really smart? Like, yeah, you have IQ, you can put towards math, but so what? You can't talk in the world. Well, yeah, it's a different, it's a different type of intelligence. Yeah. I mean, which look, makes you kind of dumb on no, a society socially, level. <laughs> socially dumb, yeah. Yeah. But then where are you going to go? Socially inept. But when he talks to like guys like Alex Pereira or all these all these like UFC guys, Volkanovski, it is fun to watch him speak to them exactly like he should speak to them, which is like really nervous and humble. <laughs> like when he, he doesn't talk to those guys as I like equals. That. I, I mean, I respect- You see them as people. I don't get the problem. When he interacts with them, he uh, he acts like a nerd who's talking to the guy in school who can kick his ass. And I kind of like that. Like, that's how I, I like feel around too. them. And it's good okay. to see him. Like, he, he doesn't come in like, hey, how you doing? He's like, yeah, I hurt my leg. <laughs> like, he's trying to talk to these killers. Um, so I kind of respect the fact that he knows his place in jujitsu. I think the next 30 days is going to be, like, the most yeah. interesting. Yeah. I think we're going to war. And I think Diddy's coming out against Trump. I think Diddy's going to start snitching, dude. Dude, oh, snitch. I dude, think go, go, go to Getty Images and just, just type in Trump and Diddy. Trump and Diddy pictures. And look what pops up. Like, Oh, they got a few. 202 Diddy Trump photos and high resolution from Getty Images. Oh, wow. <laughs> dude, they got him young. They've been around each other for decades. They know each other well. He doesn't smoke. He doesn't drink. What are you doing at those parties, Trump? And his wife was there? Well, yeah. Is that, is that, is that his Ivana? Old one. Yeah. Yes. Wow. That's a game of some sort. I love it. I Ivana. think he's Black Epstein. Oh, oh uh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's in a bit of trouble. You know. He's, it, in, he's it, in Dutch. It's, 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 that, it's also that thing where it's like, I don't know if Diddy, what his problem is, but part of it is recording it. It's crazy. And why crazy. now? Why now? They could have arrested him 10 years ago if they no, really wanted. I, I, what I've heard is that when he didn't pay that girl off originally, the 30 million, Cassie, and yeah. she came public, that's when the DA that's, was like, what's going on here? That, that <laughs> sunk the whole thing. I yeah. just think that when you have been fucking women for such a long period of time, there's no way not one of them, even 10 years ago, got some sort of evidence or people have been yeah. screaming. Yeah. People have been screaming on, on online. And for been years, for decades. About, yeah. I've heard about the Justin Bieber... De- uh, with Diddy rumor when I was like 13, 14. It's crazy. I was young. You know what, Years. though? Before I forget, while we're what? on the subject of Jeffrey Epstein, <laughs> engagement rings. I mean, I really... <laughs> and you know My that... My good friend, Steven Singer. Gentlemen, <laughs> listen up. Uh, I'm not a if you want to treat your girl like the royalty she is, head over to Steven Singer. He's going to hook your lady up with the crown jewel she deserves for a steal... Steven Singer has the best diamond jewelry at the best prices. Why look anywhere else? Now you're happy with your ring. Are you not my my you're my little princess? I love my ring. Yes. All right, cool. Don't oversell it. Uh, <laughs> it's good. Uh, yes, I went to Steven Singer to uh help me make the greatest error I've ever made. And um, my wife did say yes to our engagement. I and I was very happy. It was ring. a great relief when I bought this ring. And it actually was something you, because I know you, you will tell me if something sucks. Um, I love my ring. I know you do. And uh, Steven is the best quality, real, natural, earthborn diamonds at the lowest prices every single day. No bullshit sales, no fake discounts, no raising the price just so he can drop the price. Easy and fun. He's a jeweler you can trust. Steven also has the best guarantee in the jewelry business, a full 100-day, 100% money-back guarantee, plus an unbeatable full-value lifetime upgrade on center diamonds, diamond stud earrings, and solitary pendants, uh, or solitaire pendants. I can't read over the camera. Plus, there's very free shipping both. I don't know if I'm saying very free. I'm Trump. Very free. The shipping is very free both ways. He does real diamond jewelry better. Visit our good friend Steven Singer in his showroom. The other corner of 8th and Walnut uh, down there in Philly. He's got a beautiful showroom, IHateStevenSinger.com. That's IHateStevenSinger.com. Support the show and get next level a jewelry buying experience at IHateStevenSinger.com. It's really weird when you're doing a read for a guy that you actually like. It's nice. Like uh, like the stuff he has. We do read sometimes like for things that you're not as familiar with. But uh, we did Like a blowjob machine. I was just thinking of the auto blow. And we got like this huge machine, right? 
It's like it this was big, like this. Big. It's like this big of a device, and it has. You put your dick in it. Yeah, yeah, it's like a vacuum. And it was like. Bong, and I'm standing bong. in the kitchen. I'm standing in the kitchen, and yes. Jim is there, and he's trying to put it on my dick, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just starting to laugh, and I'm like, no, I can't. Like it scared me. It's like the Teletubbies vacuum. Have you seen it or no? Because where's the laughs? Telly, no, we Teletubbies don't know. vacuum. No, none of us know I mean, what you're talking hilarious. about. Wait, 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 wait. Look up the don't Teletubby vacuum. Well, you're on a roll. It was I literally like the Teletubby don't vacuum. Don't you know the Teletubbies can vacuum? I talk? Can oh. I, you, uh, I'm trying to talk. Oh, go right ahead. Yes, of course. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Yeah, it was literally like that. <laughs> it's that big. I mean, come on, guys. That I'm just was fucking Jim hilarious. Starting it like a lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna surprise her with this. <laughs> we both put our dicks in it. <laughs> My wife and I put our dicks in it. I mean, I sound like every old married guy. Um, but yeah, we do get some products that are very strange. Like that was a. I, I actually used it and did like it, and I can tell you that honestly, like. Um, I'm not big on toys, but the auto blow is kind of cool. Like you just put your dick in it and it actually did help you yeah. with porn. I love it. Yeah. It's good. It's <laughs> cool. Good. good stuff, sweetie. Um, but you have, I've never noticed this about you. I'm looking at your tattoos. Yeah. It says sorry. And then sorry, a bunch of smaller like an eye chart. Does it say sorry every time? It's based on an eye chart. It was. That's why I did it. Yeah. I was just going to do a big I one across my fist. And then I was like, and then I had them do a few different designs and I was like, oh, this one looked, and it, I think it's my, yeah, it's my wife's handwriting too, I think. She wrote it on there for you? Uh, they just do it on like a sticker. What are you sorry like, about? Uh, Ah, look, a few things. Was it? Was there a specific thing that you wrote that that where you're like, I fucked up, and I'm gonna say I'm sorry, and she's no, gonna know I need it. Um, I like to say I got one for each one member of my family, and okay. they got smaller. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, no, no. I mean, and I don't mean about my wife and my son, but like, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah you have yeah. a family. Um, you have brothers and sisters. I have two brothers, and yeah. It's funny, I know you for a long time, but like there's basic things I don't know about you. It's really, like, yeah, dude, but like it, uh, my, my older brother's a graphic artist and my younger brother works in IT. You know, it's funny, we had Will Sylvance in here. <laughs> and I love, I've known Will for 25 years. <laughs> And he's like, I used to work on robots. I'm like, what? Yeah, he made the robot from Rocky. I had no fucking idea. Yeah, dude, so I get to travel with Will a lot with Aziz. So oh. I've been all over the world with Will, and we just have him sit there and tell us stories. And the things about Will, you'll find out. The fact that he's he's just from Brooklyn. Yeah. Right. With that accent. It is crazy. And, it's, <laughs> and, and Jim is talking like he couldn't believe a black man did robots. No, it wasn't a black man. It was Will. It was just he was, it was Will. Well, what was his, <laughs> he graduated from where? He, he's so interesting. Have you ever heard his De Niro audition story? Yes, he one did. One of the best, and his stories about Cat Williams are fucking phenomenal. I forgot, wait, I don't, what was the De Niro story? He went in. He had a friend tell him, good actors can cry. Oh. So Will put it in his head that he had to cry at some point oh, during the right. audition. And they were like, hey, stop crying. <laughs> to the point, De Niro brought him into a room alone. He's like, listen. Everybody loves you, but you got to stop crying. And Will just went in there and did it again. He, couldn't he help just it. couldn't he to... help himself from crying. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, he did tell me that. Yeah, and then De Niro, that was the end of it. He didn't get like, did you get the role? No. I, no, I, no, no. I got to go to Abu Dhabi with him this year. That was fun. How's Abu Dhabi? I, I won't go because of her, like, because I don't I don't like the attitude about trans people there. But I want to, I mean, I mean, the country itself, I'm sure. Is the good. most beautiful ocean I've ever seen in my life. Um, like the uh, what is that? The Arabian Sea. Yeah, I don't um, know. it's the like you twelve feet <laughs> deep, and is you can like see teal? the floor. Like you, it's the most beautiful water I've ever seen. But at the same time, like there's weird stuff going on over there. There's yeah. like slave labor in different ways. Like you're always on camera. You are mm. <laughs> the whole time you're there. They have a they have a they have a um they have a thing that where their government openly says they listen to your phone calls. Wow. I, yeah. I wasn't allowed. I have the I have the private thing on my phone where it's like it scans my face to even access my internet on Safari. Ah, oh, very smart. Um, it, it 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 it's make it just it's just chat. It's a newer thing everything. on the phone, right, where you can like have certain apps do face scanning. It's not allowed in Abu Dhabi. Wait, was your phone not allowed or? No, no, that's not allowed. And I was also told to take all tech. I was told by a few people to like take things out of my phone or bring my other phone. Bring up, was yeah, it yeah. Any, anything sexual or anything like aggressive or anti whatever? 
So, you know, like, we went to do comedy, so we were really scared, so we did a pop-up show the first night, and in that pop-up show, I have a bit about charity and how I think it's a lot more so you can be like, I'm a good person, look at me, instead of, like, taking right. care of people. Charity is a part of the Muslim religion, and I didn't realize, like, oh. they took that as disrespect. They so, thought like, you were fucking had, with that, yeah. yeah. So, like, I had to have a conversation, and then, um, I, don't, I just, I, I don't know, you know, it was, uh, it wasn't my favorite place i've ever been it's definitely um they have like a guggenheim there man yeah. yeah it's 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 crazy but uh it's also the hottest place i've ever been in my life how was the hotel gorgeous yeah i feel gorgeous. like everything there is just gorgeous right not really because mm. like you see like we were lucky enough. We got to stay. There's there's wow. a bunch of keys, just like the Florida keys yeah, down yeah. there. And there's only one natural one. So that's where the good hotels are and where all the princes live. Mm. The so like one. yeah. But at the same time, you're you're on tape the whole time. We went to one of the the we went to what they're not called temples. What are they called? Mosque. We went to the mosque and the, they have not even the most expensive one in the world, but it's like billions and billions of dollars. Wow. We went there. Do you wow. see any women with hair in Abu Dhabi? No, no, no. So I was laughing my ass off, dude. They have a bouncer that does the opposite of like what bouncers do at the club here in New York. They're like, cover those titties up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. like, Don't you? But the guys, like it was the opposite because the guys, they were like, Go ahead, enjoy yourself. Yeah, women, shirts all open. Women, have, like, we were with Aziz's wife, and she doesn't dress scantily or whatever. They made mm. her go get, a like, a wrap and everything. Like, wow. yeah. It's, they're really, I, I, my wife's Jewish. I would never bring her there. Yeah, I wouldn't bring Nikki now, there. No, I wonder if I was there, I should be able to show my hair because I could say that I'm male. I actually know somebody that's trans that has been there. Yeah, how yeah. do they have I mean, they went with the government of the United States. Mm. So Yeah, I mean, that's different. The, the biggest thing is, like, they're really trying to make it a tourist spot now. Mm -hmm. So with the comic thing, I was so worried. I kept calling Schultz and being like, hey, man, do I have to worry about this or this or this? And he was like, Ricky, if something happens to you, comedy's done there. He's like, they're not going to be mad at you. And the shows were awesome. Like, they were really good. They were good. I tell yeah. Jim that he should go because you've gotten invited to Dubai. Like, I tell Jim that he should do it, but I wouldn't join. I obviously. wouldn't want you to go. I, I almost, wouldn't go anywhere where a government can imprison I almost me. don't like going someplace where she couldn't go because I'm almost like, I, I'm obsessed with Dubai and the, uh, that, that uh, Burj Khalifa Tower. And there's a Calvin Klein hotel in there. I just want to stay in it. But it's almost like eh, if my wife would be like invalid there, I don't want to support that place or fuck it. It just annoys me. That's um, how I felt when I came back, yeah. just based on my wife being Jewish. But if you're working, it's different though. Performing like you're making money, like it's your job. That's different than me just going, gee whiz, they built a big tower, like a little fucking <laughs> but fruit. Have you ever like looked into the stuff that goes on there? Like the workers, like they don't get to be in the city. They get shipped out into the middle of a desert and they're like living in dorms. So like I right. didn't know this before I went. Right. And then when I got back, I like that's Dubai. Mm. So Abu Dhabi, you can't really find much about it that's negative. Right. Which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, and then like it's it's I don't know. I just there was something about it where I was like, I'm not sure if this feels good. I would go with a friend like and stay there for three or four days just to stay in the hotel and just to see like what they've done with the like how amazing it is. But aside from that, like I would feel bad. Men who are most attracted to me are Arab men and Hispanic men. So I feel like if I was in Dubai, I know this for a fact, I would be glorified as a goddess if I went down to the desert. I don't know about Even that. Even if they knew I was trans. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah, I, you don't understand, Jim. All the sheiks. Do you know how many buttholes I've sent to me that's uh, happened to be from the Middle East? No. And also... Hopefully not recently. Hold on a sec. Let's get a number. How many <laughs> Middle Eastern assholes have been sent no, to I'm you? I'm telling you, <laughs> most men who contact me are Middle Eastern. Yeah. It's true. But, and I could have married a Middle Eastern person. The fact is they would never make an ultimatum to me because they're Muslim. Right. They so couldn't marry that's a transsexual. The point. They may like you, but they Very wouldn't Very many transsexuals it. go to Dubai. I don't like to see it because they can impress me on you're just here doing this fancy glamorous thing. I wouldn't put a penny into even flying Emirates. Would never. I'd fly Emirates. I would never fly. I Emirates. would fly Emirates. I'm not I got to fly Etihad. Oh. Was, I'm sure that was insane. It was really crazy. Were you in was business? it like yeah. huge? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, they have like full showers. And like, I know. Business. I heard. Not in business, but like their oh, their okay. cubby system. But they do have There's a only like six on of them on the plane. They also board, and I like this first class and coach. 
totally different. They don't even go down the same hallway. As I love that. Be. Yeah. Yeah. As it's it should definitely be. something. Yes. But I'm telling you, like, I came home so patriotic. Yeah. <laughs> I came home so happy about America. I love You it. did, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, some, there's something about, I've been on a couple of international flights where you board, where you, I was in business or first and you board and then coach is boarding. And there is something um, that satisfying about I go this way and then they're going straight and I make the left. Yeah. Uh, but it robbed me of the experience that I had coming back from Vegas from Skankfest when I was sitting in first and I saw Mike Feeney, uh, you know, uh, and I filmed him as he's walking on and the walk behind. I, With this stupid little neck fellow. Uh, oh, and Just. he had his, this little poster from Skankfest. Oh, you happy you went? Uh, I was so happy to see one of my friends. That's Although great. the greatest feeling was I found out, uh, you know, Bobby, I was with Bobby Kelly, Voss, uh, uh, Keith Robinson, and uh, we all flew to Vegas. And we, you know, well, you can use miles, you upgrade, we flew first, but Voss flew coach. Um, Bonnie flew that first. That had to hurt him. If you, no, I, on the podcast, I made sure I, I asked, I was like, how many people here flew first? And just to see his stupid hand stay on the table <laughs> was one of the, it's one of my greatest victories in life. He just Dude, didn't want to spring for it. Just wearing all that gold yeah. sitting in <laughs> fucking coach. Is that, is that so the best? Dumb, his dude. rings. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to fall asleep. <laughs> fucking sitting there with Dracula's jewelry and wondering why he's being stared at. Broke Oh, us. that's so funny. Rich. It, 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 was that? I said, broke Voss. His first name's Rich. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I thought it was funny, but you know, guys don't get it. Um, <laughs> so when I was really young and I flew business, I was like 20, 19, and I, he flew me to Canada and I was in business. But then I was like, can I please have a vodka on ice? And now thinking about that, I don't think I could have had that vodka. Is it 18 when you fly in the air? Because here it's 21. Uh, uh, probably 21. And I, they uh, never asked me because I was in business. They never questioned my age. No. Well, um, cool. Yeah. I mean, they don't usually don't. I don't. I don't yes. ever rem remember that being a problem. Where they're going to card you on the on plane? That airplane. <laughs> yeah, that would be humiliating if you ask for get ask for ID on the plane. Every single time yeah, I let fly, me I have a drink. Get my bag. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I um, I want to go to those places. Uh, you know, our our, our manager's friend is uh has, has a lot of connections in Dubai. Did you go there too? No, but it's only 45 minutes from Abu Dhabi. So when you flew Etihad, I want to ask you about that, dude. Yeah. That airline I've been dying to fly. Dude, I don't know what's going on in that culture, but no one locks the bathroom door. I saw numerous people taking pisses and shits every time I went to the bathroom on the plane. Really? I don't know why they don't lock the door. Were they mad when you opened it or they were just no, like... No, they were just like... I'm in out oh, here. Oh, yeah, that's embarrassing. Yeah, it was bad. Because you always feel like when you walk in on someone taking a shit, which we've all done, uh, it's just such a, an, an invasive... That happened to me when we flew home from Vegas just now. What? And the flight attendant, I was sitting and taking a pee. Thank God I don't stand because I usually sit. And he just opened the door, although I locked it. And I'm uh, Yeah, I think that door didn't lock. He obviously knew that I was in the bathroom. Oh, I'm so Maybe sorry. Maybe he didn't know. Oh, please. My tour manager was on my flight, and it had happened to her as well. So she was like, it, it's just the culture. Yeah. Oh, she opened it? It was one of those planes, though, that had a, uh, that had, uh, like, a living room. Like, you can get up and just go oh. to the bar, hang out. And, like, we did that. And then, I mean, that was... How was that to do that on a plane? To, to just go to a bar and get some peanuts or whatever and <laughs> yeah, fucking relax? Just get, well, I, the plan was to get... I, I, I get stay up the night before, drink in the lounge to the plane, fall asleep, fall asleep, and then try to see how many hours you can get. I think I ended up getting like eight. That's pretty nice. It was great. Yeah. How long was the flight? 14 hours. Okay, so you're wow. up for six. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. And then we spent that time in like the living room thing. Do you take that was any really cool. Pills when you fly? I did not. I actually stopped smoking weed before I went to um um Abu Dhabi because I had read that stuff in your system is considered possession. Possession. Oh, very yeah. smart. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah. This a country where they don't drink any alcohol at all? They don't, you can. Okay. Um but yeah, it's like you don't want to be wasted somewhere. Right. Wow, I did, I forgot about that. Like, you, how long did it take you out of your system? Like a week about or two? About a month. Oh, a month. Yeah, yeah. And it sucked because it was like Netflix is a joke was going on. I'm out in California, like not smoking. My yeah. favorite place. Did to you smoke. do any drugs while you were there? In Abu Dhabi? Mm. Absolutely no not. Way. Wow. No way. No, no fucking way. way. They don't have latches on the door. Wow. It's at like, the wait, hotel, they don't. 
They don't have uh, latches on the door. Like Norway. They'll they, come get you, man. They can walk in whenever they want. <laughs> They'll come get you. Yeah, yeah, I would never, like, anyone who has any, unless you have a prescription that you actually have the prescription for. Yeah, they said bring all your paperwork if you were going to do it, and I just said no, because listen to this, because I have SAG insurance. Yes. My prescriptions all say Ricky Velez. My real name's Richard. So that I was, was like, problem. I'm not going to sit in front of the cops in Abu Dhabi and explain right. <laughs> SAG insurance. Nick, nicknames. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Jim J. Bullock was in SAG, so I'm Jim Norton. <laughs> yes, you don't get it. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. I've gotten that with James and Jim, and I'm like, it says Jim. I'm like, it's a fucking short for James, idiot. Like, yeah, you, yeah, no, no, and I just decided, and I live with high anxiety and the rest of that, and I was like, yeah. no, I just have to wean myself off and be clean by the time I go to Abu Dhabi. Yeah. And the odds are you would have been fine, More but than you never fine, know. But you don't know, you don't, I don't like to step on toes outside this country. Yeah, it's scary. Like, it's like, and yeah, I if don't. Feel, I had a few f names of people to call, God forbid, something were to happen. Yeah, people could help you? Uh, one of my friend's dads was the head of, uh, what is it, the... Embassy? Yeah, uh, he was, uh, he worked during Trump's term with the UAE. Um, an ambassador? Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was one of them, and then I happened to just, like, meet somebody within the Democratic Party last year. Who, oh, nice. And who's actually married to trance, that's oh, wow. who had gone. And he now are they was like, a public, you call me if you need anything. Are they public or are they just in the party? Pardon? They're, they're public people or they're just in the Democratic Party? Yeah, they're public people. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Are they public about marrying someone trans or no? Yes. Oh, that's I didn't know that. sweet. Do you want to say who it is? I don't know who it is. I don't know if I want to put it out there, but- Okay, maybe I, it's not public. But as, Biden yeah. married them. Wow. Did not know sweet. that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. I'll look that up. I'm mm -hmm. curious How about incredible. that. How incredible. Yeah, after we're off, I'll Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder now, I've, now, of course, I have more questions, which the woman probably wouldn't want to ask, but did she, you know, <laughs> did she, how far did she go? <laughs> did she, what do you mean? I don't know, if she pre or post op? I would love to know. Did oh, she, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You can't ask that. I, I don't ask Oh, no, you can't. Yeah. I would never go, hey, you know, do you have your penis? <laughs> <laughs> Jim. Well, I'm, I'm Jim, by the way. Jim. <laughs> she might watch this and be really offended by that. What's that? Even if she has a penis and bridal gown, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm just curious. I mean, it's it's. I'm a pervert. But like, maybe she is. <laughs> but maybe she looks at her penis and screams in agony. Some people have that. Oh well, she's not a fun person. Nobody wants to be around that all the time. Honey, what are you doing? Ah! Right, look you up. You can always tell when she goes to use the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> there's just a loud scream. Yeah, yeah there's a scream coming. How do you is know that your a wife kidney is, stone? Yeah, no, no, no I'm just, just mad at it again. Yeah, she's looking down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, I'm dirty. So I asked, I, I mean, I, I, I want to know what someone's nipples look like. I want to know like what their clitoris look like. Like I just, it's what I think of. I mean, I can't, mm. just because I'm married to you doesn't mean that I'm a fucking all of a sudden not, not focusing. I don't mind. Stuff. No, I know you don't care, but I'm going to ask her if I ever meet her. <laughs> all right. What's the scoop? <laughs> Give me the skinny. What's the scoop? No, you can't ask that. It's a very personal. Uh, no, I, if I ask someone's dick size, I think you should just say it. Why wouldn't you? No, I understand, but most people no, don't think that way. People, it's, just, it's not that deep. And honestly, all of this gets washed out in the end anyways. Why do people care so much? About what? This all gets washed out. In 100 years, do you really oh, think yeah, someone's no, going to care about years. us? No. no one's going to give a fuck. So yeah, I will ask your dick size. Um, no, no thanks. not him. Okay, <laughs> so that's okay because we no can't thanks. say no, so it's fine. You can't ask our guest his dick size. Well, I just said I would she ask. Did. did you mean him, or are you saying in general? I just asked, and he said no. But you can't. That's harassment. Is it really? <laughs> I'm sorry. I take it back. It's yeah. fine. I don't feel harassed. She has something in common with Elon. But it's uh, it's 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 comedians. She's around comedians too much. It's but she's so blunt. My wife, my wife like has to check herself every once in a while. Yeah. Just being like, oh, I can't say fuck around these people. It, it, it's very. <laughs> she, and I also don't have any social interaction. And I grew up online, so I honestly feel like if I were to ask someone that. It's not a problem. They can say no or they can not answer People just it. don't do it, though. Oh. People just don't do but it. But how is it okay to make... You grew up make... online, so like ASL. Yeah. ASL. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Age, sex, location. <laughs> I have, have to lie about two of those things. But that's like old... <laughs> that's like what old people say on the internet. Yeah, well, that's where it that's started. That's what it started. That's, I mean, that's yeah. like... ASL. 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 A little slash in between if you had time. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even need that. Yeah. Chat rooms. Yeah. I oh, remember man. them. We need to get a good chat room going again. I remember the chat rooms. Do you remember Kazaa or, or LimeWire? LimeWire. Yeah. Because I, I was first. I remember, but yeah, no. Um, I use LimeWire. 
LimeWire, I remember. You would get porn on those things, but it was always virus infected. It was terrifying. You'd, you'd go to get a movie, it would be porn. It was really bizarre. My house was three boys. When you turned on our computer, it's just like windows of porn popping up. We had so many goddamn viruses yeah. on our computer. Wow. And it was like in the dining room. Mm. So oh. it's like three young men just cranking it. <laughs> Waiting for everyone to go to sleep. Yep. Yeah, I jerking off no in front of the China closet. Yeah. <laughs> I had my mother bought a gateway computer when I was I was in my twenties because she wanted the family to have a computer. And it was like it was dial up modem. And I didn't yeah. know any better. And uh, I downloaded this golden shower video. It was a piss video and it took so long to download, but I had no idea where stuff was went when it was downloaded. So I downloaded it and it was just in the computer somewhere. So there was, so we had some virus of course, and my mother had to call a family friend over to uh, fix the computer. And I'm like, I'm like, he's going to find this piss video and he's going to know that I downloaded it. I think he did. And, he didn't say anything. But back then, you know, it was everything was infected with something. When did you oh. feel like an official adult? Because you're you're 35. Yeah. I'm 27 now and I don't really feel that grown. I don't think it really is a thing, you know, like I'm I'm I, I don't feel like an adult still. I kind you of don't feel right? Like, no. I, you know, uh the Even only thing that makes me feel like an adult is having a child, but right. like yeah. the way I raise them, I'm I'm like very it's very much who I am and mm. like yeah, it's fun. I, I don't know. I guess that was the only thing that has ever made me feel like an adult. Wow. Is, was having yeah. the baby, having yeah. Well, it's also funny just like how people look at me on the street with a kid. Yeah. They're just like, oh, okay, yeah. What, they guy, wouldn't okay, think okay, you're a father? A yeah, yeah. It's I like, wouldn't is believe that a nanny? <laughs> <laughs> a kid with a brother? Yeah. Or his brother. You have a son, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim yeah. doesn't want baby. No, I'm, I've never been parental. Like, I have nothing against it. I just, it's just, just, you know, like, I know that I, I would probably be a selfish parent. So, you know. Yeah, but I would be a good mom. Uh, would you? I don't know. Perhaps forget to feed it. Be busy on fucking online doing it things. Bumps its head on the blowjob machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a few different things. Yeah, she's running around. I need to change. Running around house. with a fucking hoover on her dick while no, her I husband's will. working. <laughs> out trying to earn a living. <laughs> <laughs> oh, married life. But I like it more than I thought. Um, you know, it, it's challenging sometimes, but I actually like being married more than I thought I would like it. Oh, yeah. Did and you I, always want to do it or no? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I was always somebody, like, I, I mean, I didn't. Also, like, I didn't like being single mm. and I didn't like, um, I don't know, me and my wife just been running a long time and it's been great. Yeah, you have to. always been, yeah. That's so healthy when you go through your 20s and 30s with like one person. Well, also not chasing pussy doing comedy. Yes. I was able to really focus on what I wanted to do. Mm. That was another thing that was great about it. Like, yeah. And like, you have a special, obviously, you got a lot of stuff done. You have a special out, uh, which I think was on HBO. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, Here's Everything. Here's Everything. And I know you're working, I don't know if you're saying what it is, but you're working on a project that you're, so you're doing shit. You're always busy. Busy, which I like. Yeah. You always have something. Just got back on. from Budapest. I went out there to shoot um uh Now You See Me Three. What is that? That's the Woody Harrelson movie when oh. he plays the magician. Oh, and who do you yeah, play? I just play somebody he runs into in the okay. movie. But like they called me up, they were like, You wanna go do this? I was like, Absolutely. Oh, wow. And Woody's the coolest man. Yeah, that, we, now when you act, are you necessarily comfortable or do you have uh, is it hard for you or how do you feel? You know about what? It? You have to like, let it all. That's like the one time where I'm like, I don't care how stupid I yeah. look or feel like, let it all go. Yeah. Let it all go. Just be this person and own it. Like yeah. that's the only, you know, Colbert said it in the daily show book about doing man on the streets. And it was just like, lose any ego. Right, you have doing that stuff, and that's how you'll get the best stuff. Just and I was do like, it. I, I, I held on to that for a long time. Well, where could people see you, Ricky? Uh, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm such a fan of what you do, and I, I think you're really a really good comic, and you really give you. a shit about being a good comic, and you work on it, and it's, it's just great to watch. Um, where can people see you if they want to see you, or what? Do, um, what do you really comedy want to seller right now? I'm probably going to jump out on the road at the top of next year, which okay. I'm really excited about. I'm just working on some stuff right now where I'm like, I'm not able to concentrate enough to like go on the road okay um so top of next year i'll probably run back out which thanks I'm for doing this for. man thanks um, for having me and dude you're an amazing comic thank and you you're always very nice to me so i appreciate that no, i think you're great thank you and uh that's sorry for been... asking inappropriate questions you don't need to apologize to me i'm not one of those comics okay <laughs>
She's trying to see how big and long your fingers are. <laughs> <laughs>